Hey, this is Justin with DayTradeTheMarkets.com on Thursday, October 17th, and I wanted to look at a pretty nice rally here in the ES, in the E-mini S&P, and this is a, uh, a one-minute chart here, and again, you can use this on any time frame, literally from uh, micro time frames to swing trading time frames, same logic and idea applies. I wanted to just kind of look at some of the clues to this rally and look at the real important uh, bit of a reversal point that we had today. And, led to a really nice opportunity uh, if you were so inclined. So heading into the day, obviously, we, we like to look at our bigger picture. And our bigger picture bias was, was heading up. So all things equal, we would rather be on the long side. Now, the first main uh, structural indicator that we had was what we call a level three selling bar that came in right there. That's extreme selling aggression. And it happened to come in right at uh, yesterday's close. So it's not surprising that that would attract uh, some degree of resistance. And you can see when this level three or extreme selling bar came in, the high was tested. We sold off about three points, okay? Now that's a relatively rare thing that on the high of the day we get some extreme selling that comes in. And just as a bit of a refresher here, when we talk about extreme buying or selling, what we're looking at are these relative aggression bars. And what these aggression bars are telling us is looking at the order flow, looking under the surface at the aggression, so that in real time we can tell at whatever time frame you're using which side, either the buyers or the sellers, is more aggressive. And it's aggression that moves the market. So by looking at this order flow, we're able to see number one, our buyers or sellers more aggressive at a given moment and then number two to what degree they're more aggressive and we really like to focus on these level three or a, a extreme buying and selling aggression bar these level and then these level two are very strong buying and selling aggression bars these level ones give us good information you wouldn't want to necessarily uh, base too many decisions off of that but if you can really follow along with these level two and especially these level three bars they're giving you a very good clue or what we call roadmap as to the likely short-term direction of the market so if we go back to our basic chart here again you can see we had some extreme selling that came in off of the high of the day and the first thing that happens when we get an extreme selling bar we ask ourselves can the high of that bar hold and I know it's a little hard to see but it tested right there to the tick and then sold off about three points you would think that if the sellers are in control we're gonna go test this low that did not happen in fact the market turned around and this was a really important reversal point because when we made a new high of the day at the time at that time right there we did it on what we call a level three or extreme buying aggression bar okay so we have an extreme buying aggression bar on the high of the day breaking out which tells us there's a lot going on there this is some some legitimate uh, buying that's coming into the market so that's one thing the second thing is is it's taking out this earlier extreme selling aggression which if the sellers were in control they should hold this area so right along these two lines we know that the high of this level three had been taken out we know that the low and I know this is a little hard to see let me make this a little bit bigger okay so I've zoomed in a bit we know that whenever we get a buying structure just like when we get a major selling structure our expectation or what quote should happen is the high should hold and it should sell off and, and make new lows according, relative to that bar so now we've got a level now we didn't go and make new lows for the day and we ended up taking out this bar here and then we did so on this level three or extremes buying aggression bar and so our first expectation or what should happen is that the low of this level three buying bar should hold so you've got a lot going for us here we've got the high of the level three bar which ultimate which sold off three points but then ultimately failed matching up with the low of this level three bar okay it also happens to be where we have an area of uh, support with this green support area that came in right at that moment it decelerated right there so this is a really nice reversal type of an opportunity that's coming into play at this point you could see our filter was still leaning bearish but it had weakened okay in other words it was extremely bearish early in the day had become less bearish and then a little bit later on it got to extremely bullish okay so there's a lot of evidence that's coming into play so whether you you know this is one of my favorite type of, of setups where you've got a failure of an earlier and I, I use failure loosely because it did sell off three points or so from there but if ultimately a failure of this extreme selling aggression and not only did it fail but it did so on extreme buying aggression so that's a really nice this area right in here is just a really nice reversal type of a pattern we added to that with the fact that uh, we've got this green support excuse me we've got this uh, green support zone right in there and then you can see some strong or level two selling started to come in so we ask ourselves when those come in can can the lows of these hold here's another wave of level two selling can the low of that hold can the low of these hold 
Can the low of this wave hold? Here's another level three bar again. So we're showing that we're, we're strengthening as we're, we're moving higher. Level three extreme buying aggression. Can the low of that bar hold? And that's what we call our level three uh, retracement trade, where we're looking to get long toward the, the lows of a level three buying bar or toward the highs of a level three selling bar. So again, it's just showing us that there's a pure wave. We had a failure of an attempted uh, bearish wave, and then a, just a pure buying wave has begun at this point. And we're seeing that with actual order flow aggression evidence not just price action but it's being confirmed with the underlying data that's showing us in real time which side is really in control of this market and you can see as we move forward uh, we go in and make uh, some new highs and this is our first this is an interesting structure here we have our first for the while our first selling structure that comes back in so you can see we, we had this level two bar and rallied a couple more points uh, got started to get some level one selling and here's extreme selling aggression so again it doesn't mean that that sellers have taken over the market but we've certainly ended this wave of one time frame or extreme buying aggression now we're more of a two-sided market so again we ask ourselves can the high of this bar hold it did beautifully and then it sold off uh, another three points or so and then ultimately could not hold and very similar pattern where the the high of this extreme selling and that's not surprising in, in this market environment that's that's certainly leaning up this extreme the high of this extreme selling aggression bar was taken out and it did so on this level two it wasn't a level three in the same way but a level two strong buying aggression bar and you can see where it was tested earlier it was kind of a head fake you can see there was no you know real strong buying aggression that came in when we took it out this time you can see okay this one's for real this is not a head fake and then the market headed higher again so um, an interesting um, and by the way, if we, if we look a little more closely, look at where this market, once we did sell off, look at where this market ended up bottoming out, okay? Right there at the low of that uh, buying aggression bar, level three aggression bar, that second one of the day. So, you know, interesting, the, these level uh, level three aggression bars really do tell a nice story. We like to kind of box them out and see what happens when these when these come in uh, because they, they tell a pretty good story. Um, in terms of which way the market's going once we uh, break out one way or the other on some some strong aggression so hopefully that makes sense uh, again the the real nice pattern of the day here was this uh, this uh, essentially in, in, again in the context of a bigger picture up auction so we were looking for reasons to get long when this selling aggression failed and did so on this buying aggression this area here is, is really a nice little uh, reversal sweet spot if you will and then you know as these as the market's heading higher looking for ways to get long uh, toward the lows of these these buying aggression waves uh, so hopefully that makes sense um, and um, you know we're just trying to follow along let, let us you know let the software tell us which sides in control and don't fight that so hopefully that makes sense if you have any questions about that by all means let us know otherwise have a great uh, Friday trading session and we will talk with you soon thanks